Hello friends, I'm George, the nice smelling gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. In today's video I'm going to talk about two top-notch clones from the House of Paris Corner and their Pandora Scents line. The first one is called Charuto Mysterious Tobacco, this fragrance is a clone of Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco and the second one that I'm going to talk about is called Charuto Tobacco Vanille and, and you're probably guessing right that this is a clone of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Now one of the two scents I really enjoy on its own and the other one I really enjoy layering with other fragrances. The first one that I'm going to talk about will be Charuto Mysterious Tobacco. The fragrance comes packaged in this uh, bright red colored box. Uh, on the front you got this uh, sort of a face. Uh, to me it looks like uh, maybe something like Che Guevara or I don't know Fidel Castro, something like that. Uh, it brings this kind of vibes. Uh, you got the name of the fragrance, the name of the company, you got the concentration EDP, the bottle size 100 milliliters. On the back there's a sticker of authenticity. On the bottom there's also a production date which uh, in the case of this bottle is uh, April of 2023. And once you open up the bottle, the box, you get uh, this uh, again red colored bottle. The cap is plastic, feels very cheap but at least it's a snug fit and the whole bottle has a really nice heft to it. All in all the packaging unlike some other middle Eastern fragrances is actually pretty plain but at the same time nice. The note breakdown of uh, Charuto's Mysterious Tobacco has the following notes. The top notes are ginger, asmanthus, citruses and artemisia. The middle notes are tobacco, patchouli, gayakut and vetiver and the base note is tonka bean. I'll show you the sprayer in action and then I'll tell you about the scent of uh, this fragrance. The sprayer is actually pretty decent. And now onto the scent of this thing. As I said in the opening of the video, this fragrance is a clone of uh, Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco, which means that this is a sweet, spicy tobacco fragrance. And that is what it is. In the opening, you get a ton of that sweet uh, tobacco, uh, you know, notes uh, that are accompanied by a bit of freshness from the citruses, uh, slight spiciness. Uh, and you know kind of fresh uh, you get kind of fresh sweet tobacco opening uh, but this fragrance is pretty linear it doesn't change very much apart from the fact that uh, on the dry down those citruses you know those green and spicy notes they are completely gone uh, by the time that this fragrance hits the dry down and you're left with that the combination of uh, sweet tobacco with uh, some vanilla some uh, amber and uh, a bit of uh, tonka bean uh, powderness. I can't say that I picked much of the vetiver or the gayakut uh, or none at all to be honest. Uh, as I said it's a pretty linear fragrance. It has a strong boozy vibe uh, as well from the opening to the dry down. But uh, the main thing about this fragrance that you should know is that this is a sweet tobacco scent that has a slight spiciness. I really enjoy this type of scents. I really enjoy tobacco uh, based fragrances, you know sweet uh, tobacco fragrances. And I've re really been enjoying Cheruto Mysterious Tobacco. In my opinion, this is not the best clone of uh, Carolina Herrera's Mystery Tobacco. Mason Alhambra and their tobacco exclusive for me are the best clone when it comes to um, Mystery Tobacco clones. But uh, Cheruto Mysterious Tobacco is a really, really nice take on that DNA. When it comes to how close this is to the original fragrance, I would say it's very, very close. Uh, but it lacks a bit of the sweetness uh, in my opinion compared to the original fragrance and feels a little bit rougher the tobacco note feels a little bit rougher compared to the original fragrance but all in all this is super super close and especially in the air smells almost identical when it comes to performance such a ruto mysterious tobacco has been a very very good performing fragrance i've been getting about eight and nine hours of performance on my skin with pretty strong projection in the first hour and a half up to two hours when it comes to the price tag i paid roughly about 22 23 euros uh, to get uh, Cheruto Mysterious Tobacco which makes it a pretty decent deal in my opinion. Slightly less uh, expensive compared to tobacco, exclu tobacco exclusive from Mason Alhambra and almost as good so I think it's a pretty good deal. And when it comes to versatility a fragrance that is unisex but leans a little bit to the masculine side uh, has enough of versatility because uh, you know has enough freshness to be worn in slightly warm weather it's not a strictly cold weather scent uh, and also in my opinion it's a little bit more orientated towards the nighttime usage but still not super versatile but still carries enough versatility 
And now let's talk about uh, Charuto Tobacco Vani. The fragrance comes packaged in a very similar box uh, like a Charuto Mysterious Tobacco, although the coloring combination here is different. You get this predominantly dark, uh, sort of a brownish colored box. Uh, again, on the front you get that very same face, a Cuban looking face. Uh, the name of the fragrance, the fragrance and the company, the bottle size again 100 milliliters and EDP concentration, the same sticker of authenticity on the back and on the bottom the production date which is again April of 2023. And once you open up uh, the box you get pretty much identical bottle design, although this time around uh, the coloring is uh, this uh, sort of a brownish colored uh, uh, bottle again you get a plastic cap that's a snug fit uh, and nice heft and all in all again very plain uh, packaging but at the same time quite nice. Not breakdown of uh, Charuto Tobacco Vani uh, at least from what I've been able to find online has the following notes. The top notes are tobacco leaf and spices, the middle notes are tonka bean, tobacco flower, vanilla and cocoa and the base notes are dry fruits and woods. It's a pretty accurate note breakdown in my opinion. Again, I'll show you the sprayer here in action. Pretty decent sprayer again. And then I'll talk about the scent of this fragrance. Now, as I said, this is a clone of a tobacco vanilla from Tom Ford, but this is more like not a straight up clone, more like a twist. The opening here is dominated by the tobacco note, uh, that tobacco leaf note that feels kind of bitter. I also pick up quite a lot of uh, a cinnamon it's not listed maybe that's uh, what the spices mean in the top notes uh, but the cinnamon note in this fragrance is very very strong right from the get-go i pick up a touch of vanilla in the opening of this thing uh, and also a bit of those dry fruits when this goes into the dry down you know that uh, bitterness that you get out of the tobacco and the strong cinnamon note they start to lose a little bit of their strength but still on the dry down this is a very tobacco-y very cinnamony and also feels quite bitter the cacao note uh, in this fragrance also adds to this uh, it feels like a raw cacao type of note that also adds to the bitterness uh, which is balancing out the sweetness that you get out of the vanilla fragrance and the dry fruits uh, in this fragrance and uh, it's quite woody uh, on the dry down as well. All in all, it's an interesting take on the tobacco vanilla DNA. And uh, I've been enjoying this one, but not so much on its own, but rather layering it with uh, some other fragrances. I'll talk about that a little bit later. When it comes to the, you know, how close this thing is to the original fragrance, I would say, again, this is not a straight up clone this is more of a twist it lacks a bit of the sweetness that you get out of uh, tobacco vanilla the strength of the vanilla note in tobacco vanilla this has a stronger cinnamon note and the tobacco note feels like uh, you know a little bit rougher and a little bit uh, sort of bitter compared to the original scent so it's not a straight up clone it's not super super close but still will get you in a similar vibe to the original tom ford fragrance when it comes to the performance this has been a little bit less of a performer compared to charuto mysterious tobacco this fragrance has been giving me somewhere between 7 to 8 hours of performance on my skin with again pretty strong projection in the first hour and a half. So it's a decent performer, not as good as the other fragrance uh, mentioned in this video. When it comes to the price tag, pretty similar to what I paid uh, for, uh, you know, Charuto Mysterious Tobacco, about 22-23 euros, which makes it a decent deal in my opinion. And when it comes to the versatility, uh, this is a little bit less versatile compared to Mysterious Tobacco in my opinion because this feels bitter and also the original fragrance is a unisex scent. Uh, this one because of the bitterness uh, and a bit of the harshness that you get in here leans a little bit more to the masculine side. It feels like a cold weather scent and definitely a fragrance that's more orientated towards the nighttime. And before I go into the, my, you know, my final words about the Charuto Mysterious Tobacco and Charuto Tobacco Vani, just wanted to mention something. As I said uh, a, a few times already in this video, I've been enjoying uh, Tobacco Vani, Charuto Tobacco Vani layered with other fragrances more than this fragrance on its own. And uh, if you already own Charuto Tobacco Vani and you have not tried to layer this fragrance, uh, just uh, try the following advice. Try to layer this fragrance with something sweet, especially something that uh, has a lot of amber sweetness. For example, I've really been enjoying uh, Charuto Tobacco Vani layered with Armani's Stronger With You intensely. That combination, believe me, is real fire. This thing, uh, this fragrance uh, has uh, quite a strong bitter note uh, in it uh, because of the cacao, because of the 
cinnamon because of that raw tobacco leaf that you get with this one but uh, if you add enough sweetness to balance out that bitterness you really get a really really nice combination at the end of the day so just hear this advice if you already own charuto tobacco vanilla layer it with something sweeter something vanilla based or amber based and on to my final thoughts about charuto mysterious tobacco and charuto tobacco vanilla from paris corner I've been really, really enjoying, uh, you know, spicy, sweet tobacco based scents lately, uh, lately and Mysterious Tobacco has been a real hit for me. It's a very, very nicely done clone of uh, Carolina Harris Mystery Tobacco, has really nice quality, has great performance and projection, has low price tag and comes nicely packaged. So for those reasons, I really, really like uh, Cheruto Mysterious Tobacco and, uh, and I have really been enjoying this fragrance. And if you like me, enjoy you know, sweet, spicy, tobacco-based scents, definitely check out this one. When it comes to Charuto Tobacco Vani, this on its own has not been a real hit for me, but uh, I really found a way to make this more enjoyable, and that's layering it with sweeter fragrances. Fragrances that are heavy on the vanilla note or heavy on the amber note, layer really nicely with Charuto Tobacco Vani. And that way I've really find a great uh, usage for Charuto Tobacco Vani. So I still think that this has been another great addition to my collection. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you two really, really nicely done fragrances from the House of Paris Corner, Charuto Mysterious Tobacco and Charuto Tobacco Vani. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I hope that all of you guys stay safe and I hope you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, bye bye.